welcome to the McNutter Butters. I am Caitlin McNutt, and if it is your first time visiting my channel, welcome. My channel is usually all about homeschooling, book reviews, uh, homeschool helps and tips and reviews, random stuff our family's got going on, and there are some kilt videos coming because my husband is in love with his Scottish heritage. But anyway, today's video is all about the preschool curriculum for Heart of Dakota. And some friends of mine use Heart of Dakota in our homeschool group, and I thought it sounded cute and just really hands-on and just really fun, and so I wanted to try it. I wasn't quite willing to try it with my first grader because I just didn't know enough about it to really want to go that route. But with my son, he is three years old, and he kind of gets jealous of his big sister doing schoolwork. Soon I think you know, three years old, might be a little bit too young for preschool. We went ahead and purchased Little Hands to Heaven. It is a preschool curriculum for ages two to five. So with this thing two to five, I was like, okay, yeah, we might can roll with this. And you know, it said it was easy to use and it was flexible. So I was like, okay, we'll give this a try. And we have been doing this for a while now. And the way it works is one page is one day and finger play is every day. I know that sounds funny, um, but it's basically like a little song that you sing and it's got like little motions or whatever and there's certain motions in the middle of the song that represent a sound to a letter and it's the letter you're working on. and I honestly did not think my three-year-old was going to pick up, you know, the concept of what the letter is, much less its sound. But, you know, like F is F, F. So whenever we're doing it, and if he, I'm like, oh, what's this letter? He's like, oh, that's F. I'm like, and what sound does it make? And if you can tell he's struggling, I'm like, he's like, oh, F, F, F. And I'm like, yeah, you got it. So it really helps. It really, really helps. And, um, it's got Bible story, devotional activity, letter activity, Bible activity, corresponding music, and then on other days there's math activities and just different things, um, art activity and stuff like that. Um, so that's kind of what that looks like. Literally, for us to go through and do each thing, takes anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour, all depending on what it is and if he finds it any bit challenging or if we're just having fun with it. There was one day there was a Bible devotional where he was supposed to pretend that he was a Noah's Ark animal and he was, you know, what sound would you make entering the Ark? And, you know, we picked a spot and decided that was our Ark. And I was like, how would the gorilla get into the ark? And he loves Tarzan, so he was like all down on all, you know, on his knuckles. And he's like, ooh, ooh, ooh. And it was so much fun. And that activity could last someone maybe two minutes. But we did it a really long time just because he was enjoying it. So that's kind of what that looks like and kind of an idea of what goes on with that. Um, so here's some things that I really did like about it. The price. Um you know, it can be a little bit more expensive, I think, the older you get, but I felt like for a really good preschool curriculum that you didn't have to buy just a bunch of extra stuff, you just bought this one book and it has it all nice and neat and organized, I thought it was a really good price. And if I can find it, I will link it below. And, um, my brain, it just shut off. But, um, I actually did not buy this one brand new. We have a used um, homeschool curriculum bookstore in our area. I actually paid $12 for it, which was a steal. And some of the pages were bent and maybe had like a pin mark here or there. I'm okay with that. That's fine. Um, but, you know, it said that it was easy to use, easy to understand, and it really is. It's so easy. It's all laid out. It, it says everything in just a way that just makes sense. And it doesn't take any time at all. Um, it's very flexible, like I said, not a lot of time to have to use. If we've got you know, an hour before we're supposed to go meet Grandma, we can be like, hey, let's just go ahead and squeeze this in. You know, we don't have a lot of time today, we're super busy, but we got this little chunk right here. Or, you know, 
with me saying it's flexible, there's certain um, curriculums that I have seen where it's like, this is day this, and this is day this, and this is day this, and if you get behind, it's just, ah. Um, but the way it kind of goes with this one, I mean, it doesn't say set days, if you need to skip a day and then pick back up. It just seems to go really fine. Like, everything just goes well. And the songs. Okay. You know, I talked about the finger play thing. That's awesome. But it does have corresponding music. And buying it used, I actually didn't get the CD. And I feel like we're missing something there. So, that kind of stinks. But that's not Heart of Dakota's problem. That's mine. So, yeah. Oh, sorry, I have notes, like, right over here, so I wouldn't forget anything. Um, but I, if you keep seeing me look over there. But everything's Bible. Everything is Bible-related. All the activities have a Bible theme, and it's all going with the same stories that we've got going with the devotion. And I love that. I feel like he's getting a lot of good scripture and just everything in there. And another thing with it being Bible-related is that there is Bible options. I know that sounds a little funny, but like Bible story. Read the Bible story from one of the following resources. Right there. So you can either go in, it says scripture. You don't have to pick a certain, um, uh, I don't know what to call it, genre? I don't know, like KJV, NIV. It doesn't say which type of Bible. It just says scripture. And it says Exodus 40, 36 through 38. That's not a lot to read to your kiddo. Or you can, it's got a couple of different like Bible, kid Bible devotional options um, that you can purchase through them. Um, a Child's First Bible, page 60 through 61, or the New Bible in Pictures for Little Eyes, page 110 through 111. And the key idea for all of this is that God watched over the tabernacle, at least for that lesson. And, yeah, so honestly, I don't have anything negative to say about Heart of Dakota, except for that maybe I, I don't know how it would work once they get older, but in my mind, I'm like, I wouldn't want to be quite this hands-on <laughs> when the kids get older, you know, reading over everything, doing their thing, but I'm sure it looks different for when they get older, but for a preschool program, it's awesome, and I like it, and I just realized this video just now that you're probably wondering why <laughs> I'm wearing a Harry Potter outfit from the movie. Um, Fantastic Beast 2 is coming out and I'm a nerd and I love the, the Fantastic Beast and the Harry Potter series and yes I have a Harry Potter outfit for a girl and um, me and my friend are going tonight to go to the movies uh, to see Fantastic Beasts 2 and where, not where to find them, but The Crimes of Grindelwald. And yeah, I'm dressing up like a Hogwarts student. <laughs> um, but okay guys, so that's why I'm dressed like this. It's not my usual attire. But alright guys, so Heart of Dakota is awesome. I'll try to link it below. And you know what, just in case I have any, you know, Potter fans out there, my, you know, watching my stuff, I will try to find, um, this dress that I'm wearing to link and yeah so if you guys like it you can go find it for yourselves and purchase it but all right guys you have a good day thank you so much for watching if you haven't already please subscribe hit that like button if you find this video helpful oh and one more thing um, I'm gonna also be trying to put a video out on how Heart of Dakota does their placement all right guys that's it we'll see you guys next time bye